Thanks, President. Um, my question is for Minister Pulford, representing the Minister for Road Safety and the other players. Minister, I don't know the figures, but I bet that the overwhelming majority of kids will go on to get their driver's licence at some point in their lifetime, most likely straight out of school. I've just been through the same trials and tribulations with one of my children, and my daughter's now going through the same process. The government's keys to drive and the TAC's L2P programs give access to kids who otherwise wouldn't have access to an accredited driving instructor. However, unlike maths and English, driving, and driving a car is one of the years of one is a universal subject where young people are most at risk of dying. Further, advice to me is that there is no structured program for instructors to follow resulting in learner drivers receiving various levels of driver training. Minister, why are young drivers not trained in a standardised curriculum developed by the Education Department as part of competency-based education and training in a graduated education, education system? Um, this is an excellent question, one that I would love to answer, but no longer being the minister responsible for this, I'll resist the temptation and seek a written response from um, uh, Minister Carroll. Um, I have a 17-year-old who's about 55 hours into his 120, and so you know, I congratulate you on your nerves of steel and your determination to help your child get their hours up. Not the simplest thing with heavy restrictions. Um, and to all those parents, but I also take the opportunity to join with you um, in recognising the extraordinary work of the L2P volunteers. That program's been now running about 11 or 12 years and it is amazing um, and, and helps people become safe drivers. Uh, in terms of the reason that this is not in the school curriculum and why it continues to be um, a, a standard up, again from memory, around 50 competencies required to be demonstrated by learner drivers in going for their full P's. Um, I'll, uh, I'll uh, seek a written response to you from um, Minister Carroll, but and thank you for your interest in this very important part of our road safety system. Mr Grimley on a supplementary. Thanks, President. Thanks, Minister. Um, so we have thousands of children each year that get their probationary licence. Unfortunately, each year we have consistently seen a spike for crashes in kids who have just achieved their red P-plates. And although the learner driver system has improved over the years, it clearly has still some way to go. If the goal is towards zero, then we must look at learner drivers in the first instance as early intervention is a key before bad habits are formed. It is therefore imperative that instructors teaching children um, have significant and structured training themselves. It is the driving instructors who are the key to the whole process. My supplementary question therefore is, Minister, how much training do driving instructors need to undertake to gain accreditation? Mr Grimley for his question and his interest in the skills and competencies of those uh, that we uh that we all, um, well, many of us choose to um, use to support the learning um, of our learner drivers. Um, I'll seek a written response uh, on those regulatory questions from Minister Carroll. Mr. 